you let go mm. a little, you will have little peace. Mm. If you let go a lot, mm. you will have a lot of peace. Mm. If you let go completely, mm. then you struggle with the world come to an end. In today's episode, we are going deep into the transformative power of loving kindfulness and insights into empathy and sensitivity with none other than the highly esteemed urban Buddhist monk himself, Bhante Saranapala, renowned for his gentle demeanor and profound teachings. Bhante is a beacon of compassion in our modern society today he has a very rich educational background including a royal pandit degree from sri lanka and advanced studies in canada including a bachelor of arts honors degree from the university of toronto and he also has a master of arts studies from mcmaster university and also has doctoral studies from the university of toronto bonte seamlessly blends ancient wisdom with contemporary insights and as an international speaker he spreads a universal message of love and kindness touching hearts across the entire globe but what truly sets bonte apart is his commitment to making meditation accessible to all and his commitment to action and speaking kindfulness all over the world and you can join his meditation sessions for free and discover the priceless sensation of kindness, love, and calmness. So sit back and relax and explore the journey of this modern monk who embodies the spirit of compassion. Now, before we dive into today's episode, I just wanna extend a warm invitation to all of our listeners. And by doing so, you'll stay connected and be the first to hear more interviews with guests and share deep truths. And not only just talk about it, but live it and act it out in a day-to-day basis. These conversations are meant to inspire you to live a life that is true, raw, and authentic. Now, with that being said, let's jump into it. My first question for you, Bonte, is, uh, as we jump into things, is I'm curious about your story and where you came from and how you got led onto this path. So uh, what 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 is that? I'm curious about that. <laughs> well, Sean, thank you uh, for coming here to talk to me. Yes, thank uh, you so much for having me. This is me. really yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, <laughs> to see a young man like you, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> young, you know, I'll take young. I'll take young. <laughs> we we all are young, but yeah, not. yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as it's right here, <laughs> the lion nature. That's what I like to Number call it. Number doesn't really matter. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. True. <laughs> uh, so this is something that I have been doing for a long time. Right. So thank you for coming here to have this uh, conversation. I yes. normally call this kindful conversation. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Based on understanding, respect, yes. kindness, love, goodwill, you know, Absolutely. and all the positive things. Absolutely. So I was born mm-hmm. in Bangladesh. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I went to Sri Lanka. Right. Then I came here to oh, Canada. Yeah. So I, uh, Bangladesh. Uh, used to be a, a Buddhist country mm-hmm. in the history, mm-hmm. but later on it became Islamic uh, country. Mm-hmm. So in Bangladesh, we still have typical Bengali uh, Buddhist community. Right, right. And my parents are Bengali Buddhists. Mm-hmm. My uh, grandparents are Bengali Buddhists. Right. My great grandparents are <laughs> Bengali Buddhist, <laughs> and I assume my whole lineage. <laughs> right, right, right. It's a Bengali Buddhist uh, uh, lineage. Right, right. So among the so Bangladesh, uh, Bangladesh Buddhist community is very, very is a minority. Right. Uh, so uh, among the Bengali Buddhist community, mm. uh, we have a cultural practice. Right. Uh, every boy should become a monk. Oh. <laughs> You should become a monk. <laughs> it's like it's yeah. like you know in the West how people send to the boot camp. Yeah, 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 yeah. But oh, this is not a boot camp. This is this is this is this is this is something that's far better, I guess. In yeah, yeah, sense. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a cultural practice, right. a spiritual practice uh, right. based on this good intention right. of giving 
uh, spiritual education to mm. teach the good values, right, right, uh, to teach you the fundamental uh, principles, right. uh, how to become a, a good person. A good person. Yeah. <laughs> wow, good. wow. So yeah. this is called the temporary ordination. Mm. It could be one week, two weeks, one month, two months, one year. Yeah. Or it could be longer. Right. If you like, you can stay for the rest of your life. <laughs> I said, that's what happened with me. <laughs> right, right, right. So at the uh, beginning of, of my life, like uh, at the age of 10, I would say, mm. so we had uh, my uh, monastic teacher, mm. who is still living oh. uh, by this year, November, uh, mm. he will be 100. <laughs> What's <laughs> yeah. the secret? I yeah. got to find out the secret to yeah. that. <laughs> so uh, he's the uh, highly esteemed Buddhist monk, right. highly respected Buddhist monk. Right. Uh, he's the, what we call the Sangha Raja, oh. the king of the monastic, Buddhist monastics. I can only imagine that's like, <laughs> yeah. really high yeah. up there. So he's very highly respected. Right. So in 1984, mm -hmm. uh, he came to our village mm. one evening. Mm. So in the evening, we village uh, kids mm. gathered at the village temple yeah. uh, to do our evening chanting and meditation. Right. So after chanting and meditation, we go to pay our respect to the monk, mm -hmm. resident monk. So on that day, this visiting monk uh, uh, was there. Yeah. And uh, so after our uh, paying respect to him, mm. He asked all the kids, who would like to become a monk? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot, do a lot of kids know what they want to be at that yeah. age? But their, their imaginations yeah. are so full of, of, yeah. of, of a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. all the kids remain quiet. Mm. And poor me. <laughs> <laughs> raised hand. Right. So I raised hand. Yeah. And I, I believe, um, I had this good connection with the spiritual environment from right. in my childhood. Right. I would have spent most of my time uh, at the temple. Right. Uh, even after coming from school, mm -hmm. I would just stay at the temple. Wow. Because our house is also next to the temple. Right. So uh, then my, when I raised my hand, uh, of course, he knew my parents. Mm. And said, oh, why don't you ask your parents to come and see me? Yeah. Because without the consent from the parents, he, he cannot do this. Right, right. So I went home and I told my parents, uh, there's a visiting monk. Mm -hmm. uh, he would like to see you. Yeah. Uh, so following day in the morning, we went to the temple together. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, she, uh, then he asked, your son raised hand. He would like to become monk. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my parents had seven kids. Oh. So we have seven brothers, uh, one sister. All bo oh, all boys are some some women in there as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. So so uh, uh, we I have we have just one sister. One sister. Uh, we have wow. six brothers, one sister. Yeah. So I'm the middle. Oh. I have three older, three younger. <laughs> are they all in in the in the temple as well? Or uh, no, 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 just you. Yeah, okay, just... gotcha, gotcha. So uh, so my parents thought. Everybody, every boy should becomes a monk for a short time. Maybe this is for the short time. Yeah. Uh, or temporary ordination. Right, right. So my parents gave consent. Mm -hmm. So that day, uh, my teacher took me to his temple. Oh. Yeah. So then we, uh, he set up a day and time for novice ordination. Mm -hmm. So he ordained me as a novice monk. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, after a few months training, Yeah. I think I was uh, behaving. <laughs> Yo, oh, <laughs> behaving. <laughs> I, I behaved, you know, yeah, I behaved yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, he, uh, he was very impressed. Yeah. So he was uh, uh, making plans to send a group of novice monks mm. to Sri Lanka. Yeah. So uh, he, in he included me in that group, right. the group of seven novice monks. Mm. So then he sent us to Sri Lanka to another prominent uh, uh, monastery. Right, right. Again, that monastery is highly respected, mm. uh, uh, very well known. Right. 
is called uh, Dharma Itania. Mm. That means uh, the Bhikkhu Training College. Oh. The Monks Training College. Monks Training College. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, founded by a very esteemed Buddhist monk. Mm. Uh, he he passed away some years back. Right. And when we went there, my goodness, I realized that's a huge monastery, a lot of monks mm. uh, getting up early in the morning at mm. 4.30. Wow. Uh, then doing chanting and meditation together. Mm. It was very impressive, Yeah, very inspiring. And uh, we became part of that. Mm. So uh, I received that monastic training there mm. uh, and, and received uh, monastic education there. Mm. Received uh, meditation training there oh. for 10 years. Wow. Then uh, I became a fully ordained monk mm -hmm. in Sri Lanka. Mm. Uh, th that is called higher ordination, right. Upasampada. I became a Upasampada bhikkhu, high, uh, 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 ordained with these uh, high, uh, high monastic principles. Right, right. Uh, so then uh, when uh, our current abbot of this uh, temple mm. and another resident monk, he is uh, my teacher in Sri Lanka, mm. another teacher who brought me up teaching, you know, and teaching me, training me, mm. you know, looking after me like a, like a father, yeah. mother, you know. So they invited me to come here. Mm. So that's how I ended up here in 1994. And you've been here ever since. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, growing up as a monk in Sri Lanka mm -hmm. was very meaningful for me. Ah. Uh, the training I was given, the experience I had, the knowledge I received mm. uh, became uh, a source of a great future for me. Yeah. A uh, bright future for me. Right, right, right. And so, that when I came here, but over there, let's say mm -hmm. again, I wasn't sure whether I would be staying as a monk or not. Really? Yeah. You know, ah. Because you know, you're a young monk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you probably have a lot of like, oh, what, what's the future hold or whatever the yeah, case yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and of course, you're interested in a lot of things, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And especially the opposite. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so. When I came here and I got full freedom, yeah, and so I started uh, seeing the reality. Mm. The, and that means I became more exposed to the yeah. real, real reality of yeah. the society. Yeah, <laughs> it's a completely different culture. You're yeah, coming yeah, from out yeah, here, yeah, and you're yeah. like, wait a second, things are so different here. Yeah. So yeah. over there in mm -hmm. Sri Lanka, uh, like we were kind of, I was. Maybe controlled. Ah, yeah. okay. Rest, uh, maybe restrained, maybe. Right, right. Yeah, that's the word. Probably like Co a lot of rules yeah, to yeah. follow. Yeah, like If you say control, that would be the wrong word. Right, 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 <laughs> right, right. So maybe we were given this strict training. Yes. Like, uh, oh, you can do this, you can do that, you right. can <laughs> go out around this time. Oh, wow. <laughs> you, know, you can just do the crazy things like lay people do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can see that. Yeah, right? Yeah. So. After coming here, now I got my full freedom. Yeah. But I was given a very nice, a best advice, I would say, mm. which I still hold in my heart. Yes. Uh, so my teacher here uh, one day told me after uh, my e evening uh, chanting meditation, mm. and uh, he said, Sananapala, I would like to talk to you. Yeah. So I said, okay. I sat down. He said, look. In Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. we used to restrain you all. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you knew about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we set the rules. Yeah. But Canada is a country full of freedom. Yeah. You have freedom to go anywhere. You have freedom to talk to anybody. You have, to, you have freedom to do basically anything. Yeah. But remember, mm. it doesn't matter what you do who you talk to, where you go. Yeah. Always remember, mm. you are a Buddhist monk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a 
All right, that's some good advice right there. You're always gonna be a Buddhist monk. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. A Buddhist yeah, monk. Yeah. So, so you know what it means. Yes. <laughs> so then I said, thank you, thank mm -hmm. you, venerable sir, for your <laughs> advice. Right, right. So then you know, I started going out. I I started going to school, going to university, and mm -hmm. and everywhere. And I had the full freedom to do anything, basically. Absolutely. But then, whenever I do something, or oh, about to do something, <laughs> or wherever go, that <laughs> piece of advice just, you know, it pops, pops up. In. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> you're yeah. a Buddhist monk. Yeah, yeah, you're a Buddhist. You're like, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's right. Yeah. So that just because these few guys are drinking, I yeah. can do that. <laughs> right, right. And they accepted. Did your your peers in your group? Did they accept you and say that's yeah. fine? You don't yeah. have to drink or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So um, I think and then I started seeing the reality. Yeah. The the reality of the society, reality of the people, mm. and I became um, uh, the Buddhist chaplain of the University of Toronto in 1999. Right. Right. So then uh, so all of a sudden, the students would come to our chaplain's office mm -hmm. to talk to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so all the stories about relationship problems yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. other kinds of problems, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then there was a time, you know, I would stand in front of our uh, department for the uh, study of religion mm -hmm. and look at the people uh, walking on the St. George Street. If oh, you know that oh, St. George oh. Street in downtown, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how, then how I used to see the couple, boy and boys and girls, mm -hmm. you know, holding each other's hand, mm -hmm. walking on the street. And I was thinking, look, what are we doing here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like I want some of that love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at these people. You yeah. Know? They are they are wearing fancy outfits, yep, you know, yep, looking fashionable, yep. yes. and <laughs> and what am I doing here? Yeah, yeah. So that I was dreaming of that. Yeah. And suddenly, these young people coming to me, complaining about what I was dreaming. It's not of. all. It's not. It's all. It's not all like roses. It's <laughs> not all like what it's chopped up to be. It's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Then after listening to this story, you know, mm -hmm. I I would t give them some advice, yeah. give some, you know, uh, heal their mind and heart, and yeah. and that simple thing uh, helped them a lot. Yeah. So brought them relief, hope, and light. You know. Mm. So then I think, oh wow, this is really working. Yeah. And then I also started teaching meditation here right. uh, every week. And people from all walks of life come here to mm -hmm. meditate with them. Mm -hmm. And again, the, the even um, adults also started complaining about their life and other yeah. things. So then I realized, ah, I have to be here for the people. Nice. I want nice. to help people. Nice. So then I think I made the real decision mm -hmm. to stay as a monk. Yes. After coming here, wow, wow, yeah. So, uh, so I still continue on yeah. my journey in, on that direction mm. as a as a, a Buddhist monk, helping people, mm. and I just want to do something meaningful for yeah. everyone. And that's beautiful. Yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I like the way how that all came together. <laughs> so you're you you get joy and satisfaction out of really being of service to other people that's right. and offering up. Yeah. Hey, this is what I've come to know, and this is what I've been trained on. Yeah. Here's my piece. You can yeah. take it or leave it, yeah. and it, you find that it's helping yeah. people. And thanks to my teachers, and yeah. I have seen this. Like I started seeing uh, helping people, mm -hmm. being there for people. Mm -hmm. First, uh, 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 I learned such teachings from my grandfather, my mother's father, right, uh, who was a simple a man, village yeah. man. Mm -hmm. Uh, he was a vegetable farmer. Ah. Uh, so, uh, you know, I have seen, I would, every time I went to my grandfather's house, mm. you know, I would go to his uh, farm. Right, right. And I would just enjoy you know, <laughs> being with him, you know, doing the farming, yeah. you know. Yeah. And then uh, on the way back to his house, my grandfather's house, I have mm. seen my grandfather 
simply going to some houses yeah. and dropping some vegetables and other things. Oh, okay, this is for you. Right, oh, this right, is for you. Right, right. So I was kind of curious, mm-hmm. you know. I said, I said, Grandpa, uh, are these people your relatives? Right. And then he said uh, one thing. Uh, they are not my relatives from this life, mm. but they are rela- uh, they are my relatives from the past lives. Wow, that's powerful. Yeah, past lives meaning. So he says uh, they are struggling. Yeah. Uh, so you have to be there for them. Wow. You know? Wow. Uh, wow. You have to help them. Mm. Uh, you have to show your love and and compassion to these people. So yeah. those just I had. Actually, I was curious. I would say, yeah, yeah. But then it did not seep into my mind right. deeply. Right. But I had that experience. Mm. Then after becoming a novice monk, mm. I noticed my teacher mm. also started doing the same thing. He established more than hundred shelters, refugee centers. Wow. Uh, helping. Children from the underprivileged families, mm. the kids who lost their parents, mm. and building their future, you know. Yeah. And uh, so he would walk from village to village, town to town, you know. Mm. Uh, uh, as far as I know, throughout his life, this is what he has been doing. You can literally feel the 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 love from yeah. even that the past generation just yeah. being passed down yeah. and just. Even me hearing this story, I'm like, damn, that's that's amazing because we need more of that in the world. You yeah, know? But, yeah. And we get so wrapped up in like yeah. the culture yeah. and, you know, all the fashion and all that fun stuff. It's like, what's the point? I'm just making sure this is <laughs> okay. on. Okay, we're good. Yeah. So that's really, that's really touching in yeah. a sense, you know? Yeah. And I love that about your story. And I love mm-hmm. that you can literally feel it passing through the generations yeah. and hopping down from one generation to the other. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, my, my parents did the same thing, actually. Yeah. Uh, like I noticed, uh, even my, my father died in 2002. Mm-hmm. But people in that village are still talking about him. See, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's amazing. And, and, and they know me because mm. they know that I I live in Canada. Yeah. Every time I visit, oh, uh, he's the, he's the <laughs> son son of that uh, gentleman, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my mother was also like very friendly. Yeah. She was very friendly, kind. She also she also followed my my grandfather's footsteps. Wow. And uh, people are still talking about her as well. Yeah. So if I let's say yeah, so I would uh, I send. Uh, multivitamins mm. for the elderly people mm. and other gifts. Yeah. And my mother has shared these multivitamins with, uh, the with everyone in the community. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So I got to know about that. Mm-hmm. Like when my mother died mm-hmm. in 2015, mm-hmm. I attended the funeral. Yeah. So after the funeral, funeral service, I was walking in the village mm-hmm. uh, with my uh, nieces and nephews. So there were two uh, gentlemen mm-hmm. uh, passing by, yeah. and and then they stopped and looked at me. Mm. He said, uh, "Are you the son of the lady who just died?" Yeah. I said, "Yes." Oh, you live in Canada? Oh. I said, "Yes." <laughs> oh, how generous and kind your mother was. Yeah. You know the vitamins that you sent your mother; mm-hmm. she g- shared them with us too. <laughs> Wow. Wow. That's such a huge lesson too. It's almost like even just in that nice kind act, if we were to all just participate in just sharing a little bit of whatever it is that we have with the world and how we spread that, that'd be so amazing. But sometimes we tend to, oh, this is mine. This is, and hold on to that. They're not actually Buddhist, uh, but they're Muslim people. Right, right. So my, my parents actually respected everyone. Yeah. And they said uh, always, we all are human beings. Yeah. You know, yeah. don't take religion as a big issue. Don't yeah. take culture as a big issue. Mm. Uh, we all are human beings mm. and we have to be there for each other. Absolutely. Yeah, you know? That's so, beautiful. So I think I, I found those teachings, their experience, their story yeah. is very powerful. And in Sri Lanka, my teachers also did the same thing. Yeah. Uh, we. Uh, actually collected a lot of items from the schools mm. 
and we would just uh, uh, distribute those items to the people in need, you know, right. the displaced right. people during the civil war mm -hmm. in Sri Lanka. And then my uh, high ordination teacher, mm -hmm. uh, he spent all his life, because he was highly respected by the president, prime minister, ministers, you name it, wow. all Sri Lankans. Wow. And uh, he spent all his life with one slogan in mind. Yeah, I have to hear about this one. <laughs> so I, 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 uh, if I translate that yeah. into English, that would be, uh, without correcting the man, mm -hmm. the nation cannot be corrected. Wow. Therefore, first let's correct the man, mm -hmm. then let's correct the nation. That's powerful. So, yeah, so the, in other words, without fixing the man, Mm -hmm. the, the country cannot be fixed. A hundred percent. First, fix the man, the then, the then the fix the nation. So right now, where do you think the state of the nation is in, 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 in this current modern day age? This is the same thing that we have to do. That, that's the very reason why I also have started a global mission. Yes. Uh, my, I started with Canada. Mm -hmm. Officially, I call Canada mm -hmm. a mindful and kind nation. Yes. And my end goal is to call every country yes. a mindful and kind. I don't know whether I would be able to make the whole world, yeah. but I believe because yes. you have to dream big. Yes, absolutely. And I always believe, I always uh, uh, take myself, mm. it's a Bhante Saranapala. You're bigger than the mountain. <laughs> wow, I love that. I, and sometimes you have to have that strong belief system yeah. and yeah. that willpower to yeah. go out there and to will that into existence, you yeah. know? And it's already here. It's just a matter of how many people really want to go through that change. And I think that's even happening in today's age. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So this is so this is, this is how uh, we can bring a positive change in the world. Yeah. So you never know. So nowadays we have I said that all this uh, major news channel, let's say CNN, yes. BBC, or you name it, in yeah. Canada, CBC or whatever, yeah, yeah. ABC, yeah, yeah. NBC. <laughs> <laughs> they may not be. You know, talking about our story. No, no. But we have a very powerful tool that mm. is the social media. Absolutely. <laughs> Through social media, you Absolutely. can spread the message. Absolutely. And this is what I have been doing for some years now. Yes. And I have been very successful in that. Yes. So that's why officially I call Canada a mindful and kind nation. So mm. everybody, I said, a lot of people who follow me in the social media. Yes knows that I have this mission. Yes. So they are very interested in this. Yes. So they also would like to call their country like that. So yeah. uh, during COVID time, I yeah. sent help to 14 countries. Oh, that's beautiful. Th these are the people I have never seen. Yeah. But through different channels, you know, networking, mm -hmm. I tried my best uh, to be there for people in need. Yeah. And they are also uh, saying, oh, Bante, we also want to call our country a mindful and kind nation. So uh, I have done water projects in Congo. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, uh, and, and I have sent uh, food, medicine, and school supplies to uh, Uganda. Mm. And there's a rehabilitation center uh, for the young women who was subject to, you know, violence and rape and other right. things. The, so they are rehabilitating those young women. It's amazing. So uh, amazing. then they asked for some help. So I did. And I also uh, donated uh, sewing machines, like 30 sewing machines wow. uh, to 30 women. Wow. So now they were given the training how to use. Mm -hmm. Now my mission is at least th this woman mm -hmm. can make a living from this one. Yeah. And you take know that's amazing because a lot of people will talk about like we need to change the world but yeah. here you are actually taking action yeah. and doing something about yeah, it yeah. versus talking about it but yeah. you're talking about it and doing something yeah. about it which is really amazing yeah that, you know, talk uh, talking about one thing yeah. doing something else yeah so you had to you had to or how people say you had to walk the talk or walk the walk yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah walk the talk or talk the walk something like that yeah yeah 100 yeah, yeah. and and then uh the way i educate people uh, uh motivate people is doing such kindful activities yeah uh so since 1995 i have been doing 
uh, running soup kitchens mm. in downtown Toronto, feeding nice. the homeless people. Very nice. Even uh, two weeks ago, we walked on the streets of downtown, mm. distributing care packages to the homeless people. See? Uh, it was really funny, like uh, that day, uh, you know, uh, we gathered at the Toronto City Hall, yes. you know, the landmark Toronto, mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. this uh, hockey ice yeah, hockey yeah. ring. Yeah. That day it happened to be a game, hockey game, mm-hmm. played by uh, famous uh, players. So there were a lot of people, a lot of noises, yeah. uh, but we had no clue. But we also went there. <laughs> so people thought we went, <laughs> we went there to watch hockey. Oh, yeah, just they're like, oh, you're here so, to watch hockey game. <laughs> but the thing is, we had uh, care packages, yeah. a lot of care packages. People were curious, oh, what's going on? There's a group of people. Are they here to get, distribute these yeah, items yeah. to us? Yeah, yeah. And some people asked, oh, is this uh, for free distribution? Mm. Uh, he said, yes. Mm. Uh, but this is for the homeless, homeless. people. Yeah, like, you guys have enough as it is already. <laughs> Save some for the So guys. then uh, there were a few people. Said, oh, my goodness. How amazing is that? Can we join you? Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. That one little simple act is just so contagious, yeah, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's so, awesome. So then, you know, we had more than 60 people, young people coming together on that day. Yeah. People from, you know, all faith tradition yeah. from different countries. Yeah. And so we walked on the streets of downtown Toronto and distributed care packages to the homeless people. Yeah. So this is how we cultivate kindfulness yes Uh, Yes. and uh, so then uh just by talking about it's not going to give you the full experience Uh now i like the way how you said that yeah how do you practice kindfulness by being there for people you had to so i i gave an uh, advice to everyone Mm. kind of kindful advice when you walk on the streets Mm. you had to have this intention Mm. i am here for those who are suffering, mm. going through pain or struggling on the street. Mm. I'm here uh, at least to bring relief, hope and peace to the homeless people mm. at least for one minute. Yeah. Whoa. See that right there? So with <clears throat> this good intention, yeah. you had to walk. I'm here to liberate people. Yeah. I'm here to uplift people. Yeah. Uh, so we, this is the only intention you should have. Yeah. Uh, you're walking on the street with a heart full of love and compassion for those who are really suffering. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So this is the real compassion because we we, we talked about compassion, sensitivity, mm. empathy. Yeah. You know, uh, you have to f- be sensitive. You have uh-huh. to like you have to feel. Yeah. Uh, so it's like you know when we walk on the streets. This, oh my goodness, these people are suffering, mm. you know, walking, uh, sleeping on the street, mm. it's cold. Mm. So now, uh, then when you see that, mm-hmm. your heart begins to throb. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know how you get that feeling? Yes. You know, so it's a danger. Yeah. So you want to save the person from danger. Right. So then you reach out to that person. Mm. So then you you put the intention mm-hmm. throbbing heart into action by giving something wow that's beautiful yeah. because the way how you put the intention it's like you're literally putting it into an energetic form yeah. and saying hey i'm giving a piece of my heart because yeah. it's unlimited love yeah. you know it's like unconditional yeah. I, I don't need anything from you i just yeah have something to share with you. Yeah, yeah. That is beautiful. Yeah. That is beautiful. And to have that sensitivity. Yeah. And I think that's what a lot of empaths and people who are going through the world, they want to yeah. help and yeah. they want to yeah. give a piece of themselves. And sometimes they might have a little bit of, oh, how do I help? I don't know how to help. Yeah, but that yeah. little one simple act of yeah. one minute of giving love is yeah. so powerful. Yeah. So even during the COVID time, mm-hmm. like in a, how we uh, saw the reality around the world, people dying, mm-hmm from COVID, you know, and uh, not uh, getting access to the hospital, not getting enough oxygen. Uh, So even in India, let's say, uh, how people started dying there. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, saw this and my goodness, I need to do something. Yeah. Uh, So uh, during COVID time, I was offering a virtual teachings. Like I, I offered 
uh, two meditation sessions, mm -hmm. one session for the children mm -hmm. and one session for the adults. So right. I would have people join from different countries. Mm -hmm. So it's like Facebook Live list. Yeah. So yeah. those who follow me in different uh, around the world mm -hmm. join me. So then I kindly at the end of the session, I would tell them, mm -hmm. you know, uh, there are people dying. I want to send help if, if you if you can. Uh, please, you know, uh, be kind enough to donate a dollar or so, or whatever yeah. amount you can afford yeah. to. I know you also have hard time, you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, try your best. Absolutely. And I, I'm, I'm very happy to tell you, Sean, mm. there is still good people. Yeah. They they believe in kindness. Yeah. They want to help people. Yeah. And then people started donating, so mm. we collect a lot of funds and mm. we send. Uh, oxygen supplies, uh, food supplies, medical supplies to Sri Lanka, India, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Nepal, wow. Indonesia, Cambodia, uh, and here uh, Congo, uh, Uganda, Tanzania. Wow. Uh, yeah, those kind of, and of course here in Canada, mm. uh, we donate, collect a lot of uh, canned food mm. and donated them to local uh, food banks. Yeah. And uh, and then uh, we also collected some funds to distribute to the shelters in downtown Toronto. Wow! So this is at least what we can do. Yeah. I know that I can change the whole world, mm. uh, but uh, you can help at least some people. Yeah. You can. Your action would motivate another person. Mm to do the same thing. So yeah. this is what I'm doing right now. Yeah. And there are a lot of people who are doing the same thing. And I feel very happy about it. Yeah. Uh, so that's the very reason why I have uh, written this book, uh, uh, saying, are you, are you kind for Are you kind for Yeah, you can even show the yeah. right there. That's good. Are you, <laughs> yeah, are you kind for Oh, right. why are you kind? kind of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, how your practice of kindfulness can build a happy and peaceful nation? Nice. Yeah. So, now people have to be very curious. I'm simply asking a question. Mm -hmm. No matter who you, you could be a rich person, you could be a celebrity, you could be. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> uh, uh, full of grace or yeah, whatever, yeah. right? Yeah. But you should ask a question. Am I a kindful person? Wow. What wow. does it mean to become a kindful person? Right. This word, kindfulness, mm. comes from two words, mm. kindness and mindfulness. Oh. So, and then you practice kindfulness mm. in two steps. Mm. First step is be mindful mm. to be kind to yourself. Uh -huh. Being kind to yourself yeah. is very important. Absolutely. And the second step is be mindful to be kind to others. Wow. That's all we That's need. Yeah. <laughs> you if made it, it so simple too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to create the heaven on earth, yeah. this is the only principle you need. Just be kind to yourself yeah. and be kind enough to yourself so you can be kind to yeah. others as well. Yeah. So it's like, uh, I'm pretty sure time to time you 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 have visitors coming yes so the when visitors come mm -hmm. and you want to serve something let's yes. say you want to serve tea yes now in order to serve tea to your visitors mm -hmm. first you need to fill the teapot yeah <laughs> With empty pot, you can serve tea. A hundred percent. It's so simple. <laughs> so, so in the same way, first you need to fill your heart and mind with uh, the tea of kindness. Wow. wow. Kindfulness. Wow. Then you can, wherever you go, you can serve tea. And you can just say, hey, I've got, a, I've got an empty pot here, but I'm filling it with love. And you just take that action step and serve. Yeah. It's so simple. So... The the psychology behind this, if mm. you truly believe in making yourself happy, yes, happiness comes from doing something meaningful like this. Wow, S just something as simple yeah. as it's not that it it doesn't really matter how much money you have, yeah, how famous you are, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you could uh, have a, a multi million dollar mansion. Mm. 
Or you could have own a multi-million dollar car, Lamborghini or whatever, you yeah, know? It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter how famous you are, yeah. how powerful you are. Mm. But if you're not happy within yourself, wow. what are you going to do with all this wealth? <laughs> And yeah, I remember, yeah. and remember one thing: mm. no matter how big uh, you are, yeah. famous you are, rich you are, there will come a day you're going to die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what did you actually add into the world? What did you actually leave That's behind? Right. And I, I, I guess when you look around in society, and I, I can't say everybody does this, but yeah. when you look around in society, it's perpetuated. Oh, get money and yeah. get famous, yeah. and you know. Um, just take care of your own family or yeah. whatever the case is. But the simple step of just being yeah. kind to yourself yeah. and saying, okay, you know what? Maybe I don't have everything in the world, yeah. but I can try to help yeah, somewhere. Exactly. Yeah. At least you can uh, uh, lift up one person. Yeah. It's like, you know, uh, 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 a hundred miles journey mm. begins with one step. Yeah. 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 Or... <laughs> Thousand candles can be lit from one candle. I read that somewhere on 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 the on the um, on the blog, and I'm yeah. like, damn, that's that's so true. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so I think uh, as a, as a global citizen, I, mm. I I I don't want to call myself just a Buddhist man. Yeah, I just want to call I'm a citizen of the world. Yeah, as a citizen of the world, uh, I always think, what contributions can I make? to yeah. make the world a better place. Yeah. So I believe in kindfulness mm. and this is what I keep doing. Yeah. This is the best contribution I can make. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to make the society a better place, a mm. country a better place, a world a better place. And you're just sharing your heart. Right? Yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all we need, you know, is uh, we need to understand uh, everybody uh, likes to be at peace yeah everyone wants to live happily yeah and peacefully nobody wants to be intimidated mm -hmm. nobody wants to be harmed or hurt nobody wants to die yeah, yeah. <laughs> so right yeah, yeah so then yeah. keep this in mind yeah so you also feel, have the same feeling yeah, yeah. so feeling that mm. you try not to do any harm to anyone right Right. Uh, so what makes you happy? Mm -hmm. uh, what makes people happy is like one simple smile. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, how in the social media they are doing all these uh, social experiments. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> like, you know, uh, I think, I don't know, with the, uh, I don't know his name. I, I see him a lot on TikTok. Mm -hmm. uh, like he's giving... Uh, like someone is very in pain or doing or uh, left alone yeah. or in deep pain, so this guy goes to that person with the rose with the small note and saying, "Of course, yeah, this is the you know alien yeah, yeah. that I, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Here's a guy, a stranger coming to you, giving you a rose and with little note. So." Somehow he just gent gently leaves, uh, leaves it there mm. and he goes away. Yeah. And again, the person uh, takes the rose and smells it. Yeah. And then opens the note. Mm. It says, an open note says, uh, you're the most beautiful person wow. I have seen today. Wow. <laughs> and that's all it takes. And then, yeah. you know. And then she goes like, smells it again. Yeah, yeah. And puts the note in the bag uh, and looks for the person, you know. Yeah, yeah. And that calls, come on, come on, I want to give a hug. Yeah, yeah. It goes a long way. It really does. Yeah. It really does. Um, and I sort of wanted to ask you another question yeah. here. <clears throat> There's a lot of empathic, kind souls on this planet, mm -hmm. you know, and they're on this journey. Um. And a lot of times, sometimes people can take advantage of your empathy mm -hmm. for kindness or weakness. So how would one be able to use empathy as a weakness or empathy as a strength? Well, uh, people always see good things, good values as mm. weak. Oh, yeah. 
where if you're yeah. generous, if you're kind, if you're being empathetic, yeah, they say they try to take advantage from it. Right, right. But then you have to be very wise too. Mm. So you have to bring wisdom into action. Right, right. So if somebody uh, tries to misuse or take advantage of you, mm. then you should know uh, who you are. Ah. Uh, like you, a person could mm. take advantage of you first time, mm -hmm. but the second time... Not so much. Not so much. Right, right. But then you don't stop being mm. who you are. Right, right. No matter how much people try to take advantage from you, mm. but you believe in this, you know, empathy is good. Yeah. Compassion is good. Mm. Kindness is good. Mm. And then you just keep doing. Then it's going to change, mm. transform those who are trying, those who take you, see you as a weak. That's very powerful. Yeah. That's a really powerful yeah. because sometimes people might get discouraged, like, you know, once they, they're taken advantage yeah. of, or if society looks at their empathy as weakness, yeah. They might try to cover it up yeah. and protect themselves. Like, yeah. you know what? Maybe it's not so safe to be empathetic out yeah. here, but your advice of just continuing and it's like, yeah. you know what? Yeah, someone might take advantage of it, yeah. but at the same time, other people might see it. Hey, this is beautiful. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. That's really good advice. So you have to do it yeah, because yeah. you have to always look at the intention you have, why you're doing it. Yeah. People could misunderstand you. Yeah. People could misuse you. Yeah. But you have to always look at your intention, why you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Because you believe the showing empathy, doing uh, being kind is the best thing you could do. Yeah. You can transform anyone in the world. Wow. You know? Wow. Uh, so uh, you never stop believing in yourself. Yeah. It's like, you know, even let's say, what I'm doing here. Mm. People, of course, uh, I don't have sponsors. I don't have multi-million dollar donors. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I never Yet. stop. I never stop <laughs> what never I stop. do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I still, you know, I, but I know I have some people. Yeah. They believe in this. Yeah. So I get everyone involved. Yeah. So I just give an open invitation to everyone. That's awesome. Hey guys, I'm doing this. I'm going to do Shen Scan program, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I will. I I highly encourage you to be part of this. Mm -hmm. If it's possible, just donate a pair of socks. Yeah, yeah. Just two. something simple. And sometimes people give more than yeah, what you're yeah, even yeah, asking for yeah, out of yeah, the kindness of yeah. their heart. Wow, that's really powerful. So then you create that community. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So you there are people. Yeah. Who believe in you. Yeah. Yeah. But if you stop doing all this, yeah. then that means you're making the world <laughs> dark place. <laughs> ah, so it's always putting your light out there regardless yeah, of yeah. what's going on or That's whatever right, the case yeah. is. Because I remember um, I was watching one of your videos where you were talking about not instilling fear yeah. into children. Yeah. And it's almost like it immediately I got like a visual of, oh my gosh, like this is almost like darkness where it's like, we learn through generational curses, yeah. through through our parents and yeah. through society. Maybe you might yell at your kids, maybe you might punish your kids, yeah. but at the same time, it's just like, that's how it's all passed down. Yeah. So why not spread love, just continue, yeah. continuously love yeah. your child. Yeah, sure, you have to have discipline, yeah. but not in a fearful way that's in a right. sense. So you have yeah. to break that chain. Yes. Through yes. your good value. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And I, and sometimes I kind of feel like people don't know their values. Yeah. Um, but that's something that, you know, I guess we all just continue being an example yeah. of having good values. So yeah. that way other people can be inspired by that. Yeah. I, I know people sometimes behave in, in such a way because of ignorance, because right. of not knowing who you are. Mm. Uh, but once they get to know you yeah. and they change, yeah. uh, because I, I had that, uh, that experience, mm. you know, uh, people, I also have to understand people could m misjudge you, Yes, you know, that's fine. Yeah. People judge you like this, like that, because they don't know who you are. Right. Uh, right. but once they get to know, yeah. or, uh, uh, the real, uh, sense of, brightness mm. then you know they say, oh my goodness you know mm. 
They're like, oh, yeah. we misjudged. <laughs> so, so I always tell people uh, there's a kind of uh, m metaphor or the uh, parable I give. Mm. Uh, it's like in the in the in the nature, let's mm. say in the park or in the forest, there are flowers. Yes, there are flowers, very beautiful. Mm. There are flowers, they're not beautiful. Mm. Uh, there are flowers, though they are not beautiful, but they are full of fragrance mm. and nectar. Mm. There are flowers, though they are beautiful, but they are lacking nectar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right. But in the nature, bee, there are bees. Mm. Bees are looking for nectar. Mm -hmm. So bees actually need you know, nectar. Yes. They will seek nectar. Mm. So they will never stop seeking. Mm. So when they see a, be a, a, a beautiful flower, though beautiful flower, mm. but it, they sense it has no nectar. Not coming so to they don't go to that one. Right. Though other flower not beautiful, but full of nectar, mm. then they you know, land on it. Oh. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so then I'm... Uh, teaching people, and uh, you have to be uh, the flower full of nectar. Yeah. No matter who you are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, race, color, religion, politics doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah. But be the human being full of nectar. Yeah. Once you become nectar, mm -hmm. then all the bees around the world are going to. Uh, Come on in and just flock over. <laughs> it's like, you know, I always look at those powerful people. It's a Mahatma Gandhi, yes. Nelson Mandela. Yeah, yeah. Why are we talking about these people even now? Up, why, up why until this moment. Yeah, yeah. this moment. Because these are the people full of nectar. Right, right. Right? Yeah. Like uh, Nelson Mandela, we know his, his story. Yes. He could, uh, he could have easily, you know, Retaliated, absolutely. To not take revenge and <laughs> making the country yeah. worst place. Yeah, but no, he has chosen mm. the right direction. Mm. His story is very powerful. Like where the day he was released mm. from the after many years of jail, yes. prison, and uh, he stood at the fr uh, prison gate. Mm. Of course, I'm free to go today. Yeah, but then he he took a deep breath. Do I go freely to take revenge mm. from those who hurt me or mm. jail me? Mm. Or do I, do I go out being completely free, even oh. in mind and spirit, Ooh. forgiving everyone? That's deep. Yeah. So then yeah. he chose that one. Now, yes. I'm going to forgive everyone. Yeah. And that's liberating yeah. in itself and so powerful. So that's how he became uh, an icon yeah. of liberation, mm. freedom, mm. rights for everyone, yeah. forgiveness, you know, yeah. and and the positivity, yeah. right? Brightness, you, you name anything. Yeah. So so this that is who we should become. Yes. You know. Yes. Uh, but it, there's no point of harming. I mean, we are not going to live forever. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are going to die one yeah, day. At some point in time, we're leaving this plane. <laughs> maybe we might come back. Maybe we won't. Who yeah. knows? You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's powerful in yeah. a sense. And just that metaphor alone. And when you look at the story on an even deeper plane, yeah. it's like that one decision yeah. where he made where he's like, either I'm going to retaliate or I'm just going to go and be free from, yeah, yeah sure, they did that, but I'm going to go yeah. live my life and yeah. do what's right. Yeah. And that's powerful in its sense. So he, he freed himself yeah. uh, completely, mm. uh, emotionally, psychologically, physically. Yeah. He went out as a free man. Yeah. And that's why he was able to bring that positive change in the world. Mm. That's why a lot of countries gave him uh, honorary citizenship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why lo uh, every country wanted him to become their citizen. Yeah. <laughs> and probably their president too. Like, come on over. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, and which leads me to my next question as well. And it, it has something to do with attachment because I find that a lot of times the principle of attachment, you know, a lot of spiritual mm -hmm. systems are like, okay, 
non-attachment, don't attach this, this identity of my identity, my belief systems. Mm -hmm. So when we're walking around here, how is it that we can cultivate this non-attachment attitude to things? Because a lot of times you see out there like, um, it's being ingrained like, oh, I need to be on social media because I'm mm. bored yeah. or I need to go out there and I need to maybe help as many people. But if I can't help them, I feel bad about myself. Mm -hmm. Like there's so many identities that mm -hmm. we attach to and maybe even sensitive people, mm -hmm. empathic people, mm -hmm. like they want to live a life of service. Mm -hmm. But they beat themselves up just like we were talking before yeah. they beat themselves up like, oh, I don't think I can add that much to the world. So they mm -hmm. have this attachment to I have to help, but maybe I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. How do you cultivate an attitude of like non-attachment? Yeah, it's like, uh, uh, first of all, you have to believe in yourself. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. so simple. <laughs> yeah. You have to believe in yourself. You're a yeah. powerful person. Yeah. Uh, every person is worth of something. Yes. Everybody is worthy. Mm -hmm. And you can do a lot of things. Yeah. Um, so uh, you should, we should not have any doubt uh, about our skills, our capacity, our strengths. Mm -hmm. And we have the power to become the light. Yeah. Uh, we have the power to become the beacon of hope and light. Uh, we have the power to bring happiness and joy and peace to everyone. Yeah. So uh, you can do something. Yeah. Uh, you have to believe the uh, the fact that happiness comes from doing something meaningful for others. Yeah. And uh, so that means you don't hurt anyone. Mm. Uh, you don't uh, uh, always remember these uh, three things. Mm. Uh, the first thing is, uh, remember, we all are going to die one day. <laughs> true, uh, very true. true. Right? Yeah, there's there's no, get, no escaping it. <laughs> and, uh, and the second thing is, before you die, mm. Uh, do something meaningful yeah. for others. Of course, you're doing everything for yourself. Yeah. While you're doing meaningful things for yourself, mm. and also do meaningful things for others. Yes. Uh, at least for one person or, yeah. or few or, or or whatever, you know. Hundred percent. And and if you don't believe in doing meaningful things for others, mm. at least try not to hurt or harm anyone right in the process in the process yeah yeah okay so so then you know if you can be mindful of these three things yes it's going to uh empower you it's mm -hmm. going to make you a better person mm -hmm. and you can keep doing things right and then uh of course people you're going to uh, when you create an identity, mm -hmm. of course, you're going to get attached to your own identity. Yeah. yeah. Then you're going to have a lot of expectations. Uh, Maybe you're going, you, you could demand respect mm -hmm. and uh, publicity, attention, love, mm -hmm. you know, I'm the best, yeah. I'm the, you know, <laughs> who are you, you know? Right, right. right. Uh, so that kind of attitude is going to hurt you. Yeah. Uh, so uh, as you keep doing all this, always have just few or less expectations yeah uh in in buddhism <clears throat> buddha talks about uh a quality yes. it's called apechata mm. appa means few little little itcha ah. means desire expectation right. little desire so it's like carrying not a lot of weight on you yeah, like these expectations right. yeah, you can yeah. travel through the world very yeah. lightly yeah ah very so, nice so because it, you know do you know why people are living miserable though they are <laughs> have a rich <laughs> famous and so, because they have all a lot of high expectations a ah, lot of desires right right a lot of wishes right and they, therefore uh, their luggage is heavy. <laughs> right, right. And they got to carry that thing everywhere around with them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know how at the beginning you can you can carry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's say, no matter how, of course, you're a young man, Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. think, I can carry. Yeah. 
but how long can you carry these two heavy luggage? That's the, that's the real one. Yeah. How long can you carry it for? Yeah. <laughs> you that, can be the strongest yeah. person in the world, but yeah. you're going to get tired at some yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so look at all this, uh, oh, Muhammad Ali, you know, best fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. look at, uh, Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, so, so now what happened to them? Yeah. I mean, these are the best people. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So one thing that you have to keep in mind, like we say, sabbang anichang, everything is impermanent. Yeah. <laughs> the rising and the falling yeah. of things. Yeah. Don't hang on to anything. Yeah. Yeah. Don't cling to anything. Right. Right. Just, just, you know, try practicing letting go, even mm. the fame. Yeah. The fame, rich, this, these are going to hurt you. Mm. Uh, if you expect too much. Right, right. So, uh, uh, the more you have, mm. the more problems. Yeah, 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 yeah. The less you have, the less problems. Less problems. And you can travel lightly yeah. and you can do things without yeah. having all of this weight on your mind or weight on your emotions yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. That's powerful. Yeah, so, That's powerful. if you, uh, uh, Buddha said, if you have 100 children, mm -hmm. you will have 100 suffering. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God, I only have two kids. <laughs> very, 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 very yeah. wise being. Very yeah. wise being. <laughs> and, and my mother would always say, more the children, more yeah. the suffering. More the suffering. Well, yeah, your mom probably loved all seven of you guys yeah, you know, very yeah, deeply. Yeah. I was going to make sure this is still running. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Excellent. So, yeah. it's, it's, so you had to... Keep this in mind. So yes. that's why we, when you do all this work, you need to be very wise. You need to be very smart and intelligent. With right. the, you need to do this with wisdom. With wisdom. Yeah. What would you say wisdom is? Like, what would be your definition of wisdom? Wisdom is to see the things as they really are. Okay. The, I've, heard, I've heard this before. Yeah. What, when, you, when, 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 when you say see things as they are, yeah. what does that really mean? Uh, yeah. So <laughs> that means... Uh, three things. Yes. First thing is the impermanence. Mm. You have to see the impermanent nature of life. Right. Everything is impermanent. Right. Right. And second <laughs> thing is is the suffering. Mm. What is impermanent mm. is suffering. Wow. <laughs> and uh, third thing mm. is uh, no self. No self. No self. Mm -hmm. uh, that means. Uh, Everything is impermanent, mm -hmm. and what is impermanent is painful. Mm -hmm. What is painful is not under your control. Mm -hmm. What is not under your control is not you, I, myself, or mm -hmm. I, me, myself. Mm -hmm. And then what is not I, me, myself, mm -hmm. I have to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> and when you have that deep meditation around that, it's like yeah. it takes time to sort of yeah. allow that to fully sink in. But yeah. once it does, it's just so, like so, it's liberating. So the, another form of wisdom is mm. uh, to understand wisdom mm. in, in practical way. Mm -hmm. It's like I can give you, let's say, this book. Hold, yes. hold this book. Yes. Like this. It's strong. Keep like it this. on. Yeah. Uh -huh. Of course, you're a young man. Very yeah. strong. Let me see how strong you are. Mm. Let me see how long you can hold this book. Ah, <laughs> it, it might be 20 minutes, 30 minutes, yeah. maybe. <laughs> okay. So now, of course, uh, it has been only a few seconds, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe 20, 25, 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you're feeling something on your right hand now. On the right hand? Yeah. Maybe a little shape, bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's getting kind of heavier. Yeah. So you feel something is <laughs> stretching here, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so it hasn't been even a minute. Yeah. Now imagine, Sean, you keep holding this book for one hour mm -hmm. and whole day. Then what would happen to your healthy hand? It, <laughs> oh, even now, wisdom. so the wisdom says, okay, now wisdom is to see, mm -hmm. uh, okay, oh my goodness, what is this? Yeah. I never felt this pain before. Right, right. Where does it come from? Oh. Oh, oh my goodness, coming from holding this book. Right. But is this my book? Mm. Although it is my book, do I have to hold this up like this? Right, right. Then you need to 
call a, uh, compassion into action. Mm. You want to be kind to oh my God, I don't want to suffer. Yeah. I don't want to go through all this pain. Mm. Although it is my book, if it is not your book, yeah, you can you know let it go, put it aside, put it down, and yeah. then this, yeah, yeah. and then now, now the relief and the relaxation comes. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So yeah. the wisdom is seeing that what's causing. Wow. Yes. wow. Because you see the root cause. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the wisdom. That's is the wisdom. nature of the power. That is beautifully yeah. said. That's beautifully That's said. That's the power of seeing. Uh, things as they really are. That is yeah. called wisdom. That's so um, uh, that's why there is a famous uh, Thai monk. He died actually. He mm. produced so many Western students. Mm. And he has a famous saying. He says, uh, uh, if you let go mm. a little, you will have little peace. Mm. If you let go a lot, mm. you will have a lot of peace. Mm. If you let go completely, mm. then you struggle with the world, come to an end. Wow. <laughs> so, so the wisdom is a liberate, is a, is a virtue mm. that liberates you. Yeah. So there is a Zen saying. Uh, uh, it's very, very powerful. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is an enlightening experience for you, Sean. It know? is. It is. The saying is, either let go or mm. be dragged. Yeah. <laughs> It's so simple, but it works. <laughs> Let go or you're going to get dragged through the yeah. mud. And I guess the universe is always going to be like, well, if this is what you want, then yeah. I'm going to give it straight to you until yeah. you learn to let go. And you're like, oh, OK, <laughs> I'm not being dragged anymore. Yeah. That is fantastic. Yeah. And you may I, I love the way how you make it so simple, yeah. because I've heard this many times in teaching, yeah. like see things as the way they yeah. are. And I'm like, I don't get it. I don't yeah. I didn't fully get it. But until today, now I fully understand it yeah, yeah. yeah in a whole new light that's fantastic that's fantastic yeah. i'm just gonna make sure this camera is on okay all right back to it okay all right so thank you again for 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 that uh that really deep that's <laughs> it's, it's almost like the mark of a great teacher is yeah. being able to keep things very simple yeah. in a sense you know and that's and that's well that is that is uh my job because yeah. uh to make uh deep uh principles very simple for people to understand yeah yeah uh so it's uh it's really a liberating experience and if you really get to know this yeah 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 <laughs> And I think that's that's something that I strive for as well as to make something so complicated simple. Yeah, yeah. But until I fully understand it, then yeah. I'm not going to be able to teach it yeah. on that type of level because yeah. the way how you explain things today so yeah. far has been like, yeah, that's <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, yeah. you know. Um, and we were talking before about cultivating these steps in terms of letting go. So how would you say? you a person can cultivate joy happiness and mm. gratitude in their life mm. if they're going through really hard times or they're going through um a tumultuous time like how would they cultivate these type of states yeah always see the bright side of everything uh, of your life right uh and then uh, uh one one thing that i teach people mm. uh, a person could be bad let's say 99% Okay, let's say. Let's okay, say that. Yeah. But even that worst person mm. has one person good. Yeah. Goodness. Yeah. So then you have to see mm. that one person goodness that you have. Yeah. Now then you have to take action. If you then you to, uh, truly loving yourself. Yeah. Um. Okay, now I have this one person good. Mm -hmm. Now let me see whether I can increase it. Oh. While I try my best to decrease, minimize the 99. 
Ah, person man. Sometimes someone might be able, and I guess this is perspective as well in a yeah. sense where it's like, if you're only looking at that 99% yeah. bad, then that's what's going to be yeah. increasing. Yeah. And it's hard to be like, okay, well, maybe in my perspective, when you're looking at the good stuff, you're like, oh man, but that other 99%. Yeah. So I guess it takes skill to be able to be yeah. like, you know what? I'm not going to look at that. Yeah. Let's just focus on what we can, which yeah. is the good so stuff. So it's like... Um... You have to make the person see that first. Ah, That's the most important thing. Right. That's the most challenging part. Yes, yes. Uh, we have a very powerful story. Yes. Uh, it's, a, it's a murderer. Mm -hmm. Actually, he was uh, a good boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a lot, to make the long story short, mm -hmm. uh, this boy called the, uh, pr the, the Prince of Innocence or Innocent Prince, mm -hmm. the, his name is, the English translation translation would be the Prince of Innocence. Right. He was the best. He was smart, intelligent. Mm. So he was sent to this best school at the time. Yeah. Uh, so he was performing well, but his colleagues were very jealous. Oh. He, they, oh my God, he's uh, he's now he has become the favorite student of the teacher, mm. and he's getting the best mark. You know. Mm. Mm. So. Some students couldn't stand that, mm. his colleagues. Mm. So they made up a story. Mm. So what's the story? They told the teacher, teacher, your best student is having an affair with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, what? Yeah. What did you say? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Now, they, of course, Teacher became blind now. Oh. He said he wanted to punish this student. Mm. He said, okay, what would be the best punishment for this? Mm. So he's a very obedient uh, student. Yeah. So, so he said, oh, he, he summoned him. Mm. He said, you, they are saying that you are having an affair with my wife. Okay, there's a punishment for you. Mm. And uh, so I wanted to do this. Yeah. So of course, he's an obedient child. So he said, okay, whatever you say, I will do it. Yeah. I want you to make me or prepare a garland of 1,000 fingers. 1,000 fingers? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, mm. to make a garland of 1,000 fingers, you have to kill people. So, the, the teachers, teachers reasoning behind this, yeah. when, when they, now teacher doesn't want to kill him. Yeah, yeah. He's going to make him kill other people. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So then uh, they said, uh, okay, "Okay, I will because he's obedient. Yeah, I yeah. will, I will uh, make you happy." Mm. So he started. He went out. He started killing people. Mm. Now he became a, 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 a what do you call this? Uh, a serial killer. A serial killer. Yeah, yeah. You know, a yeah. sniper, serial yeah. killer. So now even the king uh, was afraid of him. Wow. Now it's, people started staying inside. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Now the mother heard mm. uh, her, the king is about to go out to uh, get the son mm -hmm. to kill him mm -hmm. with his troops. Mm -hmm. So meantime, the Buddha mm -hmm. uh, looked, looked at the world. He said, oh, there's this serial killer, mm -hmm. but he has this special privilege of becoming enlightened. Wow. But yeah. he would miss the opportunity mm -hmm. If he kills his own mother, mm. now everybody is, uh, started staying home. Mm. Now mother, of course, loves to, no matter how bad he is, yeah. but still he's uh, her son. Yeah. So searching for her son, she started walking on the street. Mm. The Buddha realized if the serial killer kills his own mother, mm. then he's, he's going to miss the opportunity of becoming enlightened. Yeah. So out of love and compassion for uh, that uh, serial killer, mm. then Buddha, you know, stood, uh, started walking on the road mm. in between the mother and the and the and the and the serial killer. Yeah. So the the serial killer, you know, was hiding on the on the highway, mm. and then he suddenly saw the Buddha yeah. walking this way. He said, "Oh my God! <laughs> just one more finger. Yeah, yeah. I have." 999 fingers. I'm just waiting for one more finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's a man. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> so then he started chasing the Buddha. Mm. The Buddha 
used his uh, psychological powers mm. and psychic powers or supernatural powers. Absolutely. You know? And then uh, he started chasing the Buddha, mm. but he could not uh, get him. Mm. He felt like Buddha was r running fast. <laughs> <laughs> right. Buddha was running. Then the serial killer shouted, Hey, mm. you are running. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Stop running. Mm. Then the Buddha said, uh, his name is Angulimala. Mm. Angulimala uh, Anguli means finger, Mala is a garland. Right, right. <laughs> because the, who bear, the person who bears the uh, garland of fingers. Right, right. He said, Angulimala, I have stopped running long time ago. Mm. It's you who is running now. <laughs> he said, what? Yeah. No, no, you are running. Mm -hmm. I, I'm chasing you, but you're running. Mm. And again, the Buddha said, I have stopped running long time ago. Mm. It's you who is still running. Mm. So then after three times, he said, what do you mean? Mm. You have stopped running and I'm still running? Mm. Then Buddha said, Angulamala, I have stopped hurting, killing people long time ago. Mm. Eh? It's you who is still killing people. Wow. Then he realized, oh my goodness, nobody told me this before. Mm. Nobody talked to me like this before. Right. Suddenly he realized the mistake he made. Mm. He said, please help me. Mm. Please help me. Mm. Okay, come with me. Yeah. So Buddha took him to the monastery and made him a monk. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one small act yeah. can change everything. Yeah. Wow. And and then the king mm -hmm. uh, dropped by the monastery, mm -hmm. and then the uh, the Buddha's king uh, was going on around this time. Where are you going mm -hmm. with all these troops? Yeah. Then he told the story. Then the Buddha said, "Your Majesty, what if I tell you mm -hmm. the person you're looking for <laughs> is right here?" <laughs> and suddenly yeah. he he got frightened. Yeah. What? Yeah. And then. He said, Your Majesty, don't worry. Mm. He's a transformed person now. Wow. This is the person wow. that you are looking for. That is deep. Like just that story alone. Yeah. Because you can literally see it in anybody. You yeah. can do a, a, a whole bunch of things in your yeah, lifetime, yeah. but it just takes one moment to completely transform that yeah. one enlightening moment. Yeah. And it's like, but well, we were looking for the, yeah. the finger killer. It's like, yeah. no, you're looking for a monk now. Yeah. He's not a finger killer yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. That's powerful. Yeah, that so, speaks to transformation. Yeah, so that, that means, you know, uh, that person, you know how the society condemn you? Like yes, this, like? yes, yes. But the dharma that we practice is not about condemning the person. Yeah. Everybody has weaknesses. Yes. Uh, people do such things because of ignorance. Yes. So now, out of love and compassion for that person, you have to bring light. Yeah. You have to show that person the right path. Yes. So um, in the same way, we could, uh, rather than condemning the person, oh, you're bad, you're so nasty, yeah, yeah. you're not good. Yeah, yeah. But help that person see the bright side, the one little good thing about it. Yeah. So you see the good side, bright side of the person. Mm and see whether you could help that person uh, increase, maximize yeah. that, that, that good thing. Wow. While you help that person to minimize the negativity. Wow. <clears throat> that alone is worth its weight in gold. Yeah. That's yeah. really powerful. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that story. <laughs> um, and then the other thing I wanted to talk about too is how does someone cultivate if we can see the light in inside of ourselves and the light inside of uh, other people how do you cultivate the mental stability emotional stability and the physical stability of maybe toughness or maybe you don't need to be tough but mm. to have that stability with inside of yourself so when you go out inside the world and all of these things are going on mm. you're stable with inside of yourself and yeah. you're not like in these crazy fluxes and whatnot yeah yeah it's it's like uh, you wouldn't believe me mm -hmm. telling you this. Mm -hmm. You know, I have walked on this on the Las Vegas Boulevard at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Sin City. <laughs> 
I've never been to Vegas, but I can only imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about that. Tell me all about it. <laughs> well, it was the first visit to Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. uh, I went there uh, uh, several times. Uh, so sometimes people uh, ask me, mm -hmm. so what takes you to Las Vegas? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> is yeah. it casino or the, all this, you know, in the Sin City, anything is possible? Right, right, right. But I tell them, well, I'm going to Las Vegas mm. to teach meditation. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this wow. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, one day after evening meditation, mm. my host family is mm. a Bhante. Mm. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's walk on Las Vegas Boulevard. <laughs> mm. Mm. So, it was around one o'clock. Yeah. And, we just walked, you know, you see the reality, okay? Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, I know people were also kind of curious. Mm -hmm. I was walking there as a typical Buddhist monk, by the way, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People were curious, hey, what's this monk doing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then, <clears throat> for me, I know what's going on, mm -hmm. but I did not want to give, I think I had sense restraint, Yes. Uh, Self-control mm -hmm. and uh, it's just seeing the reality. Yeah. Uh, I did not uh, give any emotional reaction to the, re the, the reality I'm seeing in, yeah. in the city. Yeah. So then uh, at one point, me and, my, and three uh, friends, students, mm -hmm. I think... We, we stopped. We were talking about mm. meditation, dharma, life, this and that. Mm. So one American friend said, Bhante, mm. maybe it's just four of us who are talking about the dharma meditation <laughs> here in this <laughs> Sin City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it must have been really, really hard. Yeah. This is still good. Yeah. yeah excellent. Yeah. <laughs> It's just four of us talking about the dharma and the life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, so you guys were focused and locked in on that particular yeah, topic yeah. versus what was, you can see the reality, but you weren't being affected by yeah. what was going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you don't, well, you don't, uh, the, you need to actually practice dharma meditation to bring yourself up to that stage. Right, right. Uh, otherwise, you can easily get carried away by <laughs> by what's going on out there. Wow! Because I, I mean, I I see a lot of people might have problems within the household if they're yeah. in particular situations, and I've gone through it too. Yeah. And what what would you say Dharma meditation is? Yeah. Is it sort of just like your understanding? What like is it karmic or is it? Um... Is it is an, yeah, annoying? Remember what I said earlier. Mm -hmm. What my teacher uh, told me here: it doesn't matter where you go. You're, you're a Buddhist. always yeah. <laughs> so you always have to know who you are, yeah, exactly. and you always have to be grounded yeah. with yeah, inside of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. I got you. So no matter yeah. what's going on around yeah. you, yeah. you're still carrying yeah. on and still doing what needs to be yeah. done. Regardless. You could be at the craziest place, yeah, but you still could remain calm, right? Always uh, being mindful of who you are. Ah, and that, and you said that throughout the entire, yeah. and you stayed true to yeah. that principle. And that's, and you know what? I guess that comes from people not really getting in touch with themselves. That's right, yeah. And that's why you get carried away yeah. by all the vibrations yeah. and yeah. carrying ons. Yeah. Oh, that makes so <laughs> much sense. That makes so much sense. <laughs> the simplicity. <laughs> so to be able to cultivate joy and gratitude yeah. in these yeah. states, yeah. you have to recognize it inside of yourself first. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then keep doing yeah. uh, something good for uh, everyone. Yeah. Uh, like whatever it is. Yeah. It's just little act of kindness. Yeah. Uh, do a little act of kindness every day. Yeah. So you don't have to do much. Yeah. Just, just one little, little act of kindness a day. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how many days a year? Yeah, 365. <laughs> so if you keep doing one little act of kindness a day, yeah. how many acts of kindness are you doing a year? 365. And it's... it's so this is the real joy comes from there is a beautiful parable or metaphor given by the Buddha. Mm. When 
uh, a drop of water keeps falling into the pot, mm. no matter what's the size of the pot. Mm. But if the drop of water keeps falling into the pot, mm. the pot is going to be full oh. one day. Ah. So just little baby steps yeah. every day. So in the same way, mm. every day, mm. add a little baby step. Yeah, that's powerful. Yeah, That is powerful. <laughs> I love the simplicity. <laughs> I love the simplicity. Yeah. And um, sort of one of the last questions to sort of tie everything together. What would you say to people who are feeling lost inside of the world, who are going through tumultuous times, who are going through, you know, situations that are weighing them down? What would you give... Um, um, advice to them so that they can handle it and they can rise up out of it. Mm. Yeah, so um, no matter what happens to you yeah. or what you're going through, mm. never lose hope, mm -hmm. never lose faith. Yeah. Believe in yourself. Just give yourself some time. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, give yourself some time and gain clarity in the mind. Mm. Mental clarity is yeah. very important. Yeah. It's like uh, how I say, let's say you, you have fallen mm. and you have hurt yourself. Mm. If you've fallen, first try to make an effort to uh, sit. Mm. And after sitting, mm. no need to rush, mm. now make an effort to stand. Mm. After standing, then try to make an effort to walk mm -hmm. at least one or two steps. Yeah. And after taking a few steps, mm -hmm. now slowly keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> one step after the other. <laughs> that is, and it's it's almost like a lesson in moving on in yeah. a sense where, yeah, you sure you feel the little pain, but yeah. get up and keep moving yeah. in a sense. Yeah. And even that, I try to teach that for my for my little sons too. Like, yeah. you know, sometimes yeah. they might cry what's going on. Yeah. And you learn that in childhood, like, oh, sometimes you, you complain, yeah. but you got to keep moving on yeah. at, the, at the end of the day. Yeah. That's yeah. very powerful and simple at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. very powerful. So that is how uh, everyone should think. Yeah. And... And then you gain the power mm. or energy by doing. Yeah. Uh, so you have people should try uh, practicing meditation. Mm. It's very important. It gives you mental clarity. Yeah. And then no matter what happens, uh, try to volunteer mm. uh, at uh, at a place where your help is needed. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it could be local food bank, or it could be the shelter. It could be a church. It could be a temple. Yeah, or it could be anywhere. Yeah, just uh, go there mm. and do something good for this. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Where would someone be able to find and buy your purchase your book online? <laughs> Uh, it is available on Amazon.com Amazon? and yeah. also Indigo and Chapters. Awesome. And awesome. people also can get a signed copy if they come here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. And I just wanted to say, you know, Bonte, thank you for, for having me here today. Yeah. It was a pleasure. And um, you shared so much simple wisdom yeah. that can be carried out through the ages. And I'm sure that, you know, somewhere down the line that this is not the last time we're gonna yeah. cross paths and we probably met in some yeah. other lifetime but yeah, this is this is this yeah. is a beautiful way to sort of help people who are on this path and help other people who are going through hard times just to remember yeah. stay strong and know who you are yeah. at, at, yeah. through and through and uh thank you again for sharing your wisdom with me today yeah it was a pleasure. thank you thank you thank, thank you so much thank you thank you sean <laughs> yeah. for coming